verbiage that kind of messed it up because well, it was like <laughs> we've been together for four months we've been talking for four months baby no you can't say four months because some it's, shit it's, it's gonna overlap and it's gonna look like that and then now look like i'm it's cheating fine, baby but let's wait because i got a platform okay. she said that avery posted i remember that post when avery posted and she said they have been together for four months yeah and she said no don't post it and say we've been together for four months because then it's gonna look like i've been cheating yeah. Why would Avery say they've been together for four months? Because they had been together for four months. That's what I'm saying. What's up, What's up y'all? y'all? My name is Nick Rochelle. And I am Carla Rochelle, and we are a married couple. On this channel, we share our genuine reactions to some of the hottest content on YouTube. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, make sure you click that subscribe button. And if you want to join the membership to our channel and become one of our little freaks, Hit the join button for exclusive perks. Without further ado, shout out to the members of our channel. All right, babe, who are we reacting to today? All right, y'all. So today we're reacting to the No Homo Show. <laughs> That's what we're reacting to. Um, as a matter of fact, let me make sure y'all can see the channel just in case. Okay. Um, and it says what, baby? All right. It's a public breakups with Graham's Youngin, the No Homo Show, episode 48. Yes, a lot of y'all have been hitting us up. Y'all have seen clips. And I'm like, um, okay, we'll just check it out in the beginning. Let's see how it goes. Uh, I'm going to tell you now, I was a little discouraged when I thought about me sitting here for an hour listening to Grams, maybe talking circles or try to, you know, do what she do. Yes, and I just say, if it's something we need to clip out, baby, just clip it out. Okay. Um, and I apologize for not knowing their name. I y'all. think it's DJ XL, XL, DJ XL, maybe something oh, like okay. that. Yeah, this is our first time like tuning in to one of their episodes. So, well, um, it's not my first time. Oh, really? I watched. Sorry. I actually watched them interview because somebody sent it in Discord. Uh-huh. Um, because Lola and Money are not together anymore. So they interviewed so Lola and Money. So they interviewed Money. Oh, okay. So I actually, when they sent it, I was like, what the heck is this? Okay. So yeah, I did watch that. All right, well, let's get into it, folks. Can you actually do us a favor? Hit the like button because it helps grow. Let's go. All right. People, let them know who you are and what you do. All right, bet. It's Graham's Youngin, the fashion enthusiast, CEO of Aaron Finesco. Graham's Young and the YouTuber, I do it all. Come watch my life. Come get your own perspective of me. Okay, got that sexy stud voice on. Yeah, she she was in I got, I got real like intimate, that. too. What's up, y'all? You know what I'm saying? It's oh, Graham's you got Youngin. that camera voice. Yeah. Okay. Do you got a shot? Man. Oh, man. I'm going to Oh, man. And they drink alcohol. Going to open on up. The truth serum. Yeah. <laughs> I need a, I a shot. This is my all right. shot. No, it ain't, bitch. You thought you were safe because you ain't had no cup. But guess what? <laughs> Double cup. I keep one on me. All right, yeah. This, you this toxic. Is, if you got, if you got a double cup. Hey, you gotta stay ready so you don't gotta get ready. Hey, so. I asked somebody oh, one wow, time okay. why they like keep putting their cups like that, and they were like to keep track of how many drinks I had. Oh, that's smart. I, I would not th- want to know how many drinks I had. I would judge myself. That's smart. Damn, bitch. <laughs> hey, what should it uh, be like? Hey, welcome to the Homo Show. Yes, welcome. Appreciate y'all yes, for having blessings, me. Blessings, blessings. Appreciate it. I want to say for the record, we had you on. No. No way, I ain't doing right. I'm not a drinker. I don't drink. She, what she was about to fake us. No, she I'm, said, no, I was finna. T- oh, she said she don't drink. She said, y'all ain't finna get this truth out of me. <laughs> Cause I thought that's the thing. Yeah, I, 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 okay, I, you I, lucky, you lucky, you lucky. You know you lucky. that's what they do, Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, drink it though. I'm watching your ass now. <laughs> All right, so today we're gonna talk about, the main topic will be just public relationships mm-hmm. and public breakups. Yeah. I've personally been through this. You've been through this. Excel is a saint. I am not a saint, y'all. <laughs> this girl ain't virgin. been through no. <laughs> you a virgin. Right, right. No, I just, no nah, internet drama. I just, never even I just do my word. women right. Man, get the, man. It ain't that. It's not messy behind <laughs> closed doors. I'm not right? messy. I'm She's not a messy. cancer, guys. I'm She's not slick messy. with it. She's slick with exactly. it. Exactly. So let me just tell you how I was introduced to you, okay? And you can you can correct any part of my story, okay? okay. So I learned about you when you were dating Lily. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now I didn't know y'all from campaign. Like I didn't know y'all were on YouTube. I didn't know y'all were influencers. I didn't know nothing about it. I just know y'all had a lot of followers, right? Mm-hmm. But then I kept seeing things on the internet about what I saw was that you cheated on Lily with Avery. Take that shot. We gonna be transparent on this show. I hope you're ready. Now Avery is a, a friend of ours. You know what I'm saying? And I, and I hate when we get put in the middle of breakups. Full mm-hmm. oh, disclosure. I, I hate. We fuck with both of y'all. Yeah. Full disclosure. Yeah. We fuck with both of y'all. And see, and then that's kind of what sucks about it. It's like how they saying you kind of get in the middle 
when you fuck with both of them. When you fuck, let's say, if you fuck with Lily and you fuck with Grams, and then you hear, oh, damn, they broke up. So you're like, all right, cool. Let me just see why they broke up. And then when you hear, when you start trying to call people out on their bullshit, they like, oh, you you picking Lily's side because cause you calling me out on my bullshit, you picking Lily's side. Yeah, but I guess, okay, say, for instance, if you know them personally, though, mm-hmm. depending on what the relationship is, you probably not gonna call them out. You know what I'm saying? You'll probably just be like, "This they shit. They gonna have to work it out." Yeah, but I'm talking about when they t- when they both put the story out. This is what yeah. happened, and you like, "Nah, Grants, what you saying? That shit was wrong." Mm-hmm. Oh, you calling me out on my bullshit? Oh, you on Lily's side? Yeah. No, that's just what listening happens. to both. Yeah, I think that's what happens to the audience, like the platform that they built. That's what happened with people. But I was just thinking about these people, like the one who said how she learned about them. I'm wondering, like, and she said she know Avery. So, like, at this point, even though they know Avery and they know of Grams, it's just kind of like, I'm just cordial. You know what I'm saying? I ain't picking either side when it come down to their friends. But when they have a platform, oh, yeah, the platform is going to choose and the person who fucked up nine times out of ten, they ain't gonna support your shit either. If they feel like you was on some BS. I'm trying to remember how to make this motherfucker small shit. Like Avery, which I I like Avery. a lot of people been to my crib and shit. So like even interviewing you, just the person in me had to just be like, yo, yeah. we interviewing Graham just a heads up. But yeah. we'll interview you too. You know what I'm saying? But this is so I would never disclose shit that might have I might have heard. What's she saying about me at church? Nah, she was <laughs> saying. In your kitchen. Like, nah, What's she saying? Nah, nah. She but I'm just saying. Up, like it is crazy. Like how you saying? Like yeah. it's it's so deep. And I just yeah. knew y'all from being outside. Right. But then I was like, oh, my fuck is this? It's like we became friends with both y'all at yeah. the same time. Honestly, so yeah. then it puts like it just makes it a little awkward. But yeah. Yeah. I just want to say that for the record that we yeah. fuck with both of y'all respectfully. That. You know what I'm saying? That. Y'all both bosses do y'all own thing. Big ups. I both can dress your asses right. off. God damn. That's a fact. That's a fact. So from what I saw on internet, this is what I saw. I heard that this is a rumor. You cleared it up today. You probably have already spoken on it, but you're gonna speak about it today on the homo. Yeah, we're okay? gonna bring it to the homo show. Well, I heard from the block, from the motherfucking blogs, from the motherfucking tabloids, from goddamn Instagram, was that you cheated on Lily mm-hmm. with Avery. Mm. And that was the reason why y'all broke up. Mm. Would you <laughs> confirm, deny, or what do you have to say about that rumor? Um, mm. Let's just keep it a hundred. I'm gonna keep it all the way a couple thousand. I just gotta come correct right, because yeah. I do care about both these women what? and I don't want them to feel some type of way because. I'm being honest. Speak that's your why truth. I, that's why I stay quiet most of the time because mm. I feel like people don't know how to take me because I am blunt for real. Yeah. And I really stand Aquarius on shit. Yeah, I stand on what I stand yeah. on. But yo, when you speak your truth, nobody can use it against you. I think that's, that's right. I, they do. But there's, no, that's a, okay. Okay. <laughs> they always do. always sides to a story, so this is your truth. It's my perspective. They're going to have theirs and there's going to be something in the middle. But Facts. for the record, you speak your truth, bro. Okay, so the truth is, all right, when me and we had a New Year's Eve party, uh, at the beginning of the year. I met Avery in March, but me and Lily kind of like, we've been going through some things. We were going through, we we went through real life shit and mm-hmm. the type of real life shit we go through, I don't ever bring it to the internet. Mm-hmm. I would probably tell my subscribers that like, I'm I'm not feeling her right now because she, she ain't talked to me. Like I'll keep it so brief to right. where it's like, where they're not questioning her mm-hmm. and they still gonna respect her silence if I decide to talk, right? Mm-hmm. So me and Lily was going through a lot for, since 2020. I met Avery in March 2021. Okay. Um, I, we, I wrote Lily a letter. I told her face to face, but then I wrote her a letter and left it on the bed, like in January, like, hey, since we're just, since you're agreeing that you don't want to, I was asking for therapy. Mm. I wanted therapy. And for you or for y'all together? For us, for me, I was going to therapy because I was going through some things where I had got wrongfully accused with Walmart and they accused me of stealing cat litter. So Bitch! <laughs> they accused me of stealing cat litter. And it gave me severe... First of all, that's the biggest shit to ever try to steal. Yo. At random. Yo. And for yo. context, how, how long were y'all together, you and Lily? Me and Lily, we met in 2012 and started talking in 2012, but we actually moved in together and started taking each other. I started taking our shit serious in 2014. And mm. I had like took my first paycheck from T-Mobile and got us an apartment. Like when so I met her, she only had in. one kid. Okay. She only had one daughter oh. when I met her. When I met her, she was in a relationship. She was my coworker and I was like a ear for her at work. These coworkers mm. would get them, yeah. boy. I was an ear for her. That shoulder to cry on. Yeah. Turn to be a lap But that was the type of person I'm like, I'm not gonna take advantage of you because I know you are vulnerable. Yeah. So go figure out if you want him. And if you decide that I'm who you want, holla at me. And mm. she came back with a kid. And I accepted it. Come on, we're gonna get the crib. Let's go. Let's start. And do what you're passionate about. Let, let me help you 
Come on. But anyway, I just had to say You're that. Good I'm a, I'm, yo, good daddy. <laughs> Step daddy. Alright. But I ain't cheat. I say I didn't cheat. Okay. I say I kept it real. So that letter that you wrote, you put on the bed, you said you want therapy, but did y'all break up or was it just I told like, her it was over, but we had stuff planned. I had already booked us a flight to Turkey mm -hmm. to get our tea. Well, we went to Turkey twice. Mm -hmm. I booked us a flight for us to go back so she can get the rest of the work done for her. Mm -hmm. And we were going, we had it scheduled for, for April. Mm -hmm. So I knew I wanted to break up and I knew we was broke it up in January. But, but I wanted, bitch, we still gonna go I'm get gonna our make, yeah, We still gonna make shit happen because I'm gonna stand on everything that I felt like is, You're a good nigga. I promised you <laughs> I would do. I would've do. canceled that shit. Man, I, man. Just so it don't get confusing. And it did, and it did. But I, um, I ended up, I seen Avery back in like October mm -hmm. following. I seen her at a party and we made eye contact. And the eye contact we made, it like stuck with me. <laughs> but it wasn't, I was in a relationship, so it wasn't enough for me to be yeah. like, let me go holler. I pictured her. everybody in the room just stopped and yeah. then just a beam of light and it's just like, <laughs> what the fuck? She's the one. But yeah. I, no, I'm not But that was the first you. time, okay. And she, I'm pretty sure she come over here and tell y'all that I ain't pursue her. So, I seen her. So then right when you had like an opening, mm -hmm. like, so you seen her again at the club or something? Yeah, I seen her that following year. The, in March yeah. and it was after me and Lily was on bad terms mm -hmm. and I started I shot my shot and but you and Lily were still landed. living together bad terms we were still living together yes See? we had a lot we had a lot together yeah. though like we got a three bedroom house two car garage yeah. car in my book both cars in my name so it was but y'all were broken both up both cars in my name but y'all were broken up and we broke up where y'all I'm trying to understand where y'all broken up we broke up but I was still telling her I was telling her like were you still playing like girlfriend role I got a nigga mode so I was on some shit like we smashed though Okay. Oh, see, that's, so it was that's, like oh. y'all was still living together, not on the best terms, but y'all wasn't on the best terms. And I wish y'all still had to the sex, and admit that y'all had kids, y'all had a family, y'all had a house, had a car. Role. Okay, so I still had to move a certain way. So okay, so before you even moved out, you then started talking to Avery. Yeah, before yeah. I moved out, yes. Got it. Yes. What you was it? No, so just because I don't know this, when well, you said she had one kid, so she has more now. Yeah, she has two. While she was with you? Yeah. Like y'all planned we it? talking? No. She had two additional kids or one additional kid? One additional kid. kid. While y'all were together? Yeah. She, she cheated on you. talking. While y'all were talking? She didn't cheat. No, no. I allowed her to go figure out if she wanted to be with her boyfriend at the time, who now is her baby daddy. And then when she came back, she was pregnant. And then she was pregnant. And then after she had him and oh. she tried to make it work with him and yeah. like see if she wanted to do the play the house thing. Right. And it, it didn't, didn't work. work out. I'm like, okay, I'm ready. So it but was two ready. kids. She got two kids. Okay. Got you. Got, got you. you. Okay. Yeah. I'm like, okay, I figured out. So, um, as far as the things that were going on on the internet, mm -hmm. from your perspective, like, what, why do you feel like that happened? How did it even become a known thing to Lily? Like, you were messing with Avery. How did she find out that? Avery. She... Avery. It was Avery. Well, Avery. She, that ain't her secret to keep. Sure exactly. Ain't. But you got to respect the person brand, too. Because I have a platform already. <laughs> that's and some I, bullshit. She's, no. I think that's no. No. Ah. You know what? Ah. It's like she think this is motherfucking Burger King having her way. Now, so were you broken up with Lily, or did the platform have to be respected? Because if y'all was broken up, it was no platform. So what is she respecting? You, it just it don't make sense. But okay, this her perspective. And what does nigga mode mean? Girl, nothing. Females don't work like that. I know females try to work like that, but we all know, like, when you mentally get involved, it's like, it's a wrap. So, at the end of the day, it just seemed like what everybody has been saying. Everybody already figured she cheated, even though she trying to say she didn't. And did she move and, out, or did she get kicked out? She didn't. Was, well, we ain't even got to that part okay. yet. Well, she said she moved out. Um, I She guess. said she had not moved she uh, asked she her, she yet. said, had okay. you moved out yet? And she said, no. Oof. Okay. All right, you got to respect the person. Hey, come on now. I'm pretty sure Obama had a little fling on the yeah, side. Everything so, do got to be strategic. Yeah, no, and that's what I wanted to part. do. But that ain't fair to a person that... Not after four months. It's a, we got to see if we... We got to see if we even better yeah. make it past the next day. I'm not going to lie. You know I how I said... I see both yeah. sides. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, but the thing is, I was living with my ex when I met my wife. Mm -hmm. But we... I literally had, we had nothing going on. So, I, but when I was chilling with my wife, like one time she asked like, can she post me? And I was like, not until I move out because I don't want to make- You had the conversation though, right? Yes, but I was like, but the thing is I was not with my ex, my broke ass was trying to save up my move <laughs> to move out, but I kept it a hundred. But I also said like, I can't have this energy in where I yeah. rest my head at. Yeah. But it kind of seemed, but- Y'all had that dialogue though. Yeah. Whereas to y'all- We had the dialogue. Just, 
So y'all had the, the conversation. Yes. You told her don't do it, yes. and she did it anyway. Yes. What did she do exactly? Posted you or what? Posted us, and it was the verbiage that kind of messed it up. Because it, it was like, we've been together for four months. We've been talking for four months. Baby, no, you can't say four months because Some shit. It's, it's, it's going to overlap, and it's going to look like that. And then I look like, I'm it's cheating, baby. Right. Well, let's wait, because I got oh, a platform. OK, I see now. You can't do that. Okay, I got now. the platform. Yeah. Gotcha. And people are watching. And it's not that I don't want to represent who I'm with. Right. Yeah. It's just that we have to we have to be respectful. Right. And we had a conversation when we was in LA because when we first met, we oh, y'all were traveling. Trips. Oh, it's very lesbian like of y'all yes, hitting LA. Got my <laughs> Hold on, okay, so let me make sure I understand. So she said that, um, do you remember how to make this thing big with your memory? Is it Z? Is that what we used to hit? Because baby, I thought it was Q. Uh, no, it's Z, and then I think Q, Q. to go back yeah. small. Z to big, Q small. Shit. <laughs> All right, so, um. She said that Avery posted, I remember that post when Avery posted and she said they had been together for four months. Yeah. And she said, no, don't post it and say we've been together for four months because then it's going to look like I've been cheating. Yeah. Why would Avery say they've been together for four months? Because they had been together for four months. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's the same way. Okay, I'm going to give an example. So when me and Nick first ever linked up, right, I remember it being the month of September. The reason I remember it being the month of September is because that's, that's just my time. Like if you do the math um, and the math is math and like right during that time, I tend to get pregnant. My Both my kids' birthdays you in May. would have been pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> so it's it. like August, you know? So it was like, but Nick, so that Nick can keep the time plot right she just rounds it up to the next the month October first. but females don't forget for real I'm a for woman. real no no i'm just saying for real. like when it's somebody like once we start being like okay this is serious it's like we can think about like what the time frame is like you was probably still on some play play time but then i was like you know i always correct you i'd be like babe it was really september but okay you know avery know that it was four months but i get what she's saying she's trying to save face but at the end of the day. But that's what I'm saying. This is why this shit will drive your brain crazy when you if deal you, with somebody if like you this. you talk to her, yeah. Because she just said, no, I didn't cheat. No, it didn't happen like this. Mm -hmm. But then she said, but I told Avery, don't say it was four months because then it's going to look like I was cheating. Okay. Yeah. She said, what, they was just talking then? Uh, it just it don't Child, sound right. It sound like what lesbians normally do. The shit move fast. And, and she, look, and it's okay if that's something lesbians normally do. I just... So, but this is it. Okay, so if it was me, and I'm just thinking, like, if, if like, from the, how Graham explained herself, like, in the beginning with her mom, she said she was mature, you know? I guess for me, like, if she told Avery, don't post me, and she still did it, if it was me, I would have I would have stopped talking to her ass. It would have been a wrap. Like but she needed, kind of, kind of needed. But Avery we don't for, know if she was kicked kick out. out. She wasn't kicked out yet. She was about to. Her head went that bullshit. Much, she was about no. to. <laughs> so it she was, was like, I can't. Know. But no, if she so would have got was, rid of Avery, she would have put herself in a very no, vulnerable no, she wouldn't have because remember, it was still a minute before we found out with Lily. Oh. Lily was still trying to get her a chance because remember, this her cycle. So like, even if she just would have been like. Like no, like oh, yeah. you see she what I'm saying? Told Avery, no. Your ass, you didn't know. You did me wrong. She wanted to see what Avery was about. Then she could have just, I mean, she and maybe to, maybe Avery candles and manifestation shit was uh tugging at her too hard. Maybe she could have oh, yeah. yeah, she was putting voodoo and spells she had, and shit she, on her. She had her little locks like this. Ah. Look, she was pulling. Ah. She was pulling. All right, babe. <laughs> this ain't even funny no no to me. Dang. Yeah, no. baby. <laughs> But we had a conversation when we was there, and we was like, no, we ain't popping out until we see my ex pop out. Because that would be our cue to, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, to every well, why did y'all feel like the ex was going to pop out? Did you know at the time she had somebody Because me else? and her already knew we was done. Before all the internet videos were being made, yeah. we were broken up. So even if she ain't pop out until, like, a year and a half later, y'all wasn't going to pop out until a year and a half later? I didn't want to pop out for two years. Because I don't want to look like, I don't want to bring people to the internet. I don't want nobody to, to interrupt. Yeah, when I'm, trying, real fast I'm trying to protect us. Yeah, I'm yeah. trying to protect us. And I know this internet shit, Avery. Yeah. I get you. I know the internet and shit. Let me, let me 
direct this portion and you have the rest. You know me behind the scenes. You know I'm all for you. You know I ain't no bitches texting my phone. You know I ain't talking to nobody else. So you don't feel like you being held hostage and you being hid from nobody. We right. Nah, uh, it's like when somebody run that type of game on you, it leaves room for manipulation. And, and I think that's why she probably stayed with her because she wanted her to know like, I ain't trying to play no games with you. I'm not trying to manip manipulate you. And you have to think this is already after she done went out of town with Avery. I mean, went out of town with Lily. So it's like, it's just too much going on. You need me to do something? Yeah. All right, we're back. Sorry about that. All right. We know what we got. Let's wait until the perfect moment before my brand. But I ain't gonna lie, that is very tough for like a girl, right? To be like, you put all, you put this girl all out there and now, it, it might feel like they've been, yeah, yeah, and then not for nothing, like even like my girlfriend at the time was like, I can't do this mm -hmm. yeah. much longer till you got a month. And I don't know, the way God worked, he gave me that money in a month. Yeah, I ain't get no time frame. <laughs> I ain't get no time frame. <laughs> but, but, I day. The, but I do kind of, I do understand like kind of what you saying, but I also do understand like once you do put somebody on like out on front street and then like somebody else is like, nah, I don't want to do it this way. Although you could have learned from being in a public relationship and like, yo, yeah. I want this one more low key. Yeah. It, it is still a this battle, so I, I could would be think. respected. Yeah. yeah. I want people to be respect us. Yeah. Because now, guess what? Now people looking at you like you a home record, and that's what I was trying to protect you from. Right. That's what I wanted to protect you from. Got it. I done been with this person for 10 years, so I know right. she's gonna look at it like, oh, you had a bitch and you ran off with right. her. So that I'm like, true. no, babe, wait. Yep. Give us a year so it could be respected. And mm -hmm. I, ultimately, I want people to respect you. Mm -hmm. You mine. And it didn't come off that way. And then me, I'm the type of person, I'm a protector, I'm about security. So I'm gonna stand behind you, you know I don't agree with the fuck you done yeah. did. You done posted us, and now motherfuckers tagging us and talking shit, and I don't even respect that shit, but I gotta, the internet gonna think I respect it, but I'm gonna curse your ass out. Got yeah. it, I, who was riding with Avery, I rolled sure. behind yeah, her, yeah. And, and, and now I'm sacrificing my brand, somebody that been in the light for the last eight years, mm. is sacrificing for something that I might not last, that might right. not last. Right, cause y'all still early, no, and that's yeah. fair, that's fair. Yeah, that is so true. So during that time frame, um, when did you move out when did y'all um with i moved out in the middle of april because we ended up going to turkey and we went to turkey she was pushing it open and i was saying I was, oh no oh lily don't fight First me all, how please don't fight oh, me how y'all eating oh. coochie with getting y'all teeth done well got you she's the one i'm just <laughs> there for cosmetic only oh. i didn't already have uh, mine uh, oh i <laughs> uh uh because lily said <laughs> They was fucking with her bloody mouth and all. I remember that. <laughs> Honey, I was like, it was going down. <laughs> and you, uh, it, it's like everybody know how that shit go, right? So just say for instance, if you have been in, this is any relationship. If y'all do those childish ass breakups, it's like, I don't want your ass no more. Nine times out of 10, y'all gonna work it out. Y'all gonna end up fucking and all that. If Grams would have not probably did what she did with Avery, nine times out of 10, her and Lily probably would have worked it out. They would have worked it out behind the scene and it, we wouldn't even never knew. Even if they decided we're gonna come to y'all and say we broke up, it still would have got worked out behind the scene. But baby, they was, um, yes, they was having that makeup sex. <laughs> That's a funny image to me. Your things at it. They didn't sharpen my shit. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> so this is April. Avery is March. It's the it's the visual. Yeah, Avery me. knew I was going to Turkey. So hold while, on, that's, this is March. So why? Okay, and hold on. She's saying Avery knew that she was going to uh, Turkey, right? But that doesn't mean Avery knew everything about her going to Turkey. You yeah, know what I'm and that, when did Avery find out that they was fucking? She probably found out when when Lily ended up telling. It's everybody. like that, just because she knew that she was going to Turkey, we don't know what she told Avery. She could have told Avery, "We still got to do this promo yep. run." Yeah. So, so like, I need you to just respect that. So, since Avery got to come on the show, Avery needs. To, I hope she answered that question. I hope they, you know, like. Oh yeah, you know. When it's up, cause Avery, y'all already know. Avery, I feel like she gloves off. Yeah. The same way how Grams protected her when they were together, Avery protected her. It's kind of like it's like, uh, cause we still got to react to Grams' sister mm -hmm. uh, video too. But it's kind of like when they were involving themselves with Grams, it's like they were kind of throwing themselves in the fire. And it's kind of like while we reacting and all that, we firing off on them. But it's like now since they're kind of 
separate we get to see Avery you know how she is mm -hmm. as well as the sister right the, that's the question what did she tell Avery about that trip she, or it could have been like oh we already had this plan I can't get my money back so I gotta go to the trip Meanwhile, they teeth listen fucking. So, I want to know, was she communicating with Avery when she was there? Or was she like, I ain't going to be able to communicate with you. I'm going to be gone for about a week. I want to I wanna know everything. Yeah. <laughs> well, Avery was there when yeah. the turkey, Lily, April. So, technically, you were Overlapping. talking to both of them at the same time. It... I had to adjust. Mm -hmm. I had to wing off. Did they know you this? know how when a baby is stuck on a Stop nipple, it. I had to wing uh -uh. off the nipple. Lily didn't know this, but did Avery? No, Lily knew I was talking to somebody. She just didn't know her name. Okay. She didn't know who she was. Okay. And she was oh, on yeah. my she ass every that. day. Like, tell me who the bitch is. Okay. No, it don't matter. So you think Lily was trying to fuck Grams and try to win her back? No, I think that was just part of what they did. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? It's toxic, but I think that was part of their relationship. And then she probably felt like hell if she fucked me. Whoever this new bitch is, it can't be that serious if she's still coming back fucking me. Well, I done been in that situation. It yeah. don't matter. Oh, it be that. It be oh. that. Like, it be if I open up to you, you gonna be mad. You don't, you don't really wanna know nothing. And then you gonna going try to fight her. Leave her yeah. alone. Leave her alone. Oh. But did Avery know about yes. going to Turkey? So she yes. knew. Okay. Because I was staying. That's what the internet don't know. Mm. Um. Like a second, like it was like the third week of March. I was like spending night with Avery because I had like in Atlanta. In Atlanta, which I was in chat. Yeah, and Lily Tennessee. Was right? night but this is where Lily's mad. This thing. is where she got mad at me. Girl, that. you went on vacation. Yes, bitch. I took a vacation. Oh no, stop, y'all. Hey. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not bragging. I swear. No, no, no. no we talking about it, trying to put two and two together. Yeah, yeah this situation was definitely toxic. But it, I did have her at home, and that's where I feel wrong because. Hold on, you had who at home? I had home sad because I was laid up in somebody oh, else's bed. That happened to me before. I went through that uh, shit too. My but listen, heart hurt. I ain't gonna lie. It do. It hurt. make you feel you bad. Thinking, no, because like when that person, even though, because we was broken up. This not. This is a old relationship. When we was broken up, anytime she ain't get home, I just thought she was busting it open. Oh my god! Yeah, that is. Don't give it away. I've been in that, that position. Don't give it away. It make, your, it make you go crazy. You don't yeah, know what do. to think. Because who was it? And right. it was a friend. And like, it's gonna hurt worse if it's a friend. Oh, see, if I wasn't even coming home, but she was French, it was nobody she was talking to. No, see, that's how Lily did me too. Ooh, yeah, I hated yeah. Being at she home did me like that myself. before I even met Avery. That's what made me feel. That shit hurt. That's what made me even like Not coming home. That shit she, hurt. she 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 went to Atlanta, and this is after I proposed. Mm -hmm. She went to Atlanta. She was at the Airbnb with Glamazante, and mm -hmm. they was I, I popped up in town. Like what what y'all got oh, going on? You don't on? pop up in town. What y'all got going on? Like, they was like, I'm gonna send you the address to the Airbnb. Follow me, cause I pulled up to the club. Like where y'all going after the club, and who the hell is gonna be at the Airbnb? I'm gonna send you to, I, I, so you hit the road, Jack. Hit the to and ATL. I, to find her, my fiance. Period. To find my fiance. Where you at? She was like, I'm gonna send you the address. Yeah. Man, them motherfuckers ain't call me. Ooh. So how you find out? Find out what? <laughs> I don't. I still don't know what the hell went down. Oh, so I mean, like, how'd you know where to pull up to? I didn't pull up. Oh, you didn't pull up. They, you said you they skated off. Bro, she drove all the way to Atlanta and had and nowhere was like, to go. I'm, a, I'm go to the go in the car. I'm gonna send you the address to the Airbnb. This is what I'm gonna I'm gonna send you the address to the Airbnb. And then I call Lily. She. She pick up was like, I just know your energy's off, so I don't want you to come to the Airbnb. Okay. Because y'all so got hoes finna be there. I'm like understanding that. this correctly. There's some hoes finna be there. So you you did come to Atlanta. Mm hmm But when you got here, they did not send you the address to where they were at. You was in certain. Yeah, this is around 85. COVID time. Oh, not around COVID time. Ain't nothing open. She gave me COVID. You got the virus after that shit. The motherfucker came to let him was outside of the Outside of it brought it to the house. Damn. Damn. I was like, so like STD. I know it probably worked it though. She gave me the virus. Hey, I know she had a ball when she did, bro. Because when we went back up, we had a good time. Now we laid up with COVID. Damn. The COVID came from you being whatever whole face you was in. Damn. So you didn't cheat in your eyes, just to clear it up. You just felt like. Y'all weren't together at the time, bad time. You didn't time. handle it right, oh, I didn't handle it right. Didn't because she wasn't your girlfriend. Yeah, and I, I feel like, I, I feel like uh, these films feel like you not, you not done with them until they done with you. So it's like anything you do when you're done, because they not done with you yet, you wrong. No, but that's not true, because if that's you're still fair. living with somebody, you still got to respect them. I did. Yeah. I told you it was over. No. But you still but you get up out of there before. Yeah, give me time. We got a whole bunch of shit tied together. Like yeah. I said, I got cars right. in my yeah. name, houses in my name. Right, right. I got to so right. untangle this web. So right. Right. Okay, um, I, that's, that's a tough situation. That's tough. No, it is. She, baby, but what about the fucking part, though? So, hold up. Okay. So, if she told Lily that it was over... Um, and she and, wrote her and Lily, gun letter. Right, and Lily knew that Grams was talking to another girl. 
because I do um, remember Lily saying something about she was asking her so who was if that's it. the case. And she then, said, Graham said, I don't want to tell you until she get her teeth and her body done. So if that's the case, then did she not did she not cheat on her then? Lily knew that she had some according to what she's saying. Yeah. Lily knew that she was that she was with uh Best of talking to another person. So, but if that's the case, why did she come back to the house and say, who been sleeping on my side of the bed if they was broken up? Oh, yellow memory. Why she worried because, about, you know why? Why because she worried about B Blacks or B Cigarettes being over there and in the ashtray? Because that's how the head got bust. So, that's so. a good point. Oh, <laughs> Lord. See, Carla, that's what I'm saying. Like, Grams will have to deal with somebody like Carla because it's like all the the circles the fluffy buffy shit it just i i don't care enough but my baby her memory is so good and she's able to be like well what about this well what about that you'd be like damn but no that is a good point yeah so So if they if they were broken up why do you care so much about somebody laying on your side of the bed if you already been fucking both of them because you know why because she made lily think that they still had something yeah she was telling lily sweet nothings yeah, I think she was doing it to she both She was being of manipulative. Them. Yeah, I think, because think about it. Even if, like I just said, I've been in a situation like that with somebody where it's kind of like, I ain't feeling your ass right now. Like, I don't want to fuck with you. But then they still texting you. We've all been in a situation like yes. that. That's what I'm saying. It's just, the only, and that's why I don't want people to think like, that we feel some type of way about what Grams did. I can give two fucks about Grams cheating and doing all of that because I've done it, Carla done it, they done it on the show, these hosts. <laughs> it's just about, uh, like, just telling it straight. Yes. Like, and just yeah. leaving it at that. So yeah. we all can listen and then different people can learn a lesson from it. Yeah, and I like how um, DJ yeah. um, XL, 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 how she yeah. said, you know, she was just like, like, don't post me yet because I still got this going on. Yeah. And then she said, even the girl who she was living with, she was like, I can't do this shit no I more. Actually, you got one month. And that's usually what happened when you're really trying to break some shit off. Because I've been in that situation. The, I was not fucking them. It was like this. And I'm thinking about back before I had kids. And I knew I was getting ready to leave. Not fucking you. Definitely ain't feeling your ass sleeping in the other bedroom. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. It wasn't even that. Y'all still laying in the same bed, still putting on the show for the kids, like everything good. Yep. I actually like how these two, they're still being respectful to yeah. Grams, but they're still holding her feet to the fire. Yeah. That has got to be a skill because some people, it's just like hot or cold, you know? Yeah. But they're able to, you know, do this thing. Yeah. That. Uh, Sorry, y'all. And we all been in situations that's like, it's not black and white. Yeah. Like, we all have. But being in that relationship for so long, do you think you should have gave yourself, like, a Absolutely. like a break? Absolutely. And sometimes we do, especially as lesbians. Like, we find some, like we find somebody else, and we attach to them. You haul. Yeah. You haul, let's be honest. You do think, like, it should have been a break. Yeah, and that's just... why I'm so apologetic. Because it's like, now that I'm older, and now that I'm, like, wiser and I can analyze situations from a clear space where I don't have other energy on me yeah. because I was looking from a space where I, it's like I gotta protect Avery she innocent too yeah. whether y'all think she a home wrecker or not she still was innocent because I you know what I'm saying invited her into my world mm-hmm. so I was on some shit like I need to protect her but I do feel bad because like Avery like Lily I knew her for 10 years Yes. Yeah. So it's like, and it's like I don't want to make excuses for Grams, but if you really think about Grams' situation, she been with Lily for ten years, so since 2012. To so, where is her dating experience? You know, like me, I got I've got to gain that type of experience because I'm in a relationship with a girl, we break up, and then I'm uh, you know, I'm get hopping another relationship, we break up. Like maybe it lasts for six months or a year, or maybe you know. So maybe this is. That's what I'm saying. Maybe she never got to get that experience. And uh, that's why she jumped in with Avery. Because now it's like you would think, people would think, oh, you 36. You don't know by now that once you get out of a relationship, you don't go to another relationship because it's going to be toxic. You know, I don't want to make excuses for her. But maybe she didn't because she didn't get that experience. Yeah. But me, even though I'm younger than her, I still, I was out there. Clapping, clapping, clapping cheeks, all type of shit. Round of applause. I'm pretty sure Gramson clapped a couple of cheeks. Yeah, she was she was cheating on uh 
on uh, Lily. Lily. So, but she never gotten the experience where it's like, okay, I done broke single. up with Lily. Let me go, let me go and date yeah. another girl. <laughs> and now let me date this girl. You know what I'm saying? Or yeah, or even not even date. Let's just fuck. I don't want to be in a relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> even you've had that experience, yeah. but it was with guys. And yeah. then, you know, a little hint of a oh, girl. <laughs> Damn, that was my bestie. I can't do my bestie yeah. like that. But, baby, if you knew what the fuck was going on behind the scenes, y'all, this motherfucker was calling everybody that was around me, threatening them. Like, bitch, I'll beat your ass, too, if you if you agree with what Graham's doing. Like, she was threatening everybody. People. I mean, but are you surprised? It's Lily. Yeah. Like, you ain't telling us nothing that we wouldn't believe. Yeah. If, if I mean, if it's true, if it's false, sorry. But, I mean, <laughs> Lily, she gets down. <laughs> I so when I came to say nothing. when I came to the internet, I'm like, yeah, bitch, I got a girlfriend, but Damn, it wasn't right. I was daddy. I was antagonizing the situation because yeah. she was threatening behind the scenes, mm -hmm. and I was like, okay, force your hand. Hey, look, I know y'all into the episode, but we got pussy trying to or if you and all, so I got a Bible post. Yeah. So let me ask you this: If Avery would have never posted y'all, how do you I, think things would have went? We would still be together. We wouldn't have you no. You would still be with Lily, or you would still be with Avery? Avery. Avery? You don't look like you motherfuckers. I'm mad at you. I'm so. Why is she mumbling? Is, is she not sure? It sounds like it's it's a question there. Be yeah. angry because okay. I I had my That's reasons for. Oh, she gonna be mad. I had my reasons to not be in my team relationship right now. Hold on. Hold on. No, no wait. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I had my reasons, y'all. Yeah. I have reason reason for what? To leave the relationship. With Avery. Lily. Lily. Lily, okay. yes. But I, were you healed? Did you give yourself time? I mourned the death while I was in the relationship. So much shit was going on, so mm. much violation. So many different violations was happening to me that I wasn't going to the internet about because of that. I need to deal with this. Right. Mm. So people took it as because I never went to the internet first to talk about what was going on about yeah. me and Lily's situation, that I'm the bad person because she popped out to talk about what I did wrong. Yeah. Every time she did me wrong, I didn't speak on none of that because I don't want people to bash you. I'm always protecting people while they want to throw me to the wolves. Well, it's crazy because we have talked about how um, the internet runs with the narrative that they see. Woman scorn. Like, like we we literally know stories that shit ain't play out. We literally know stories that shit ain't play out the way it looked like it did, but the internet only seen one they video or something. Knew. And, um, you know, we were talking about that on the progress report, like, people just really running, or they even with, They ain't even know. reading. Whoever's hurt, hurt. Yeah. Yeah. Woman scorn. Hey, they winning. And what they all got in common? Them Libras know how to tell a story. So people fall for the stories, right? Yeah. And we, we gonna talk about Keisha Cole. We are gonna talk about Shanti. We gonna talk about- They Libras or something? All of them Libras. <laughs> but why they famous? Cause I should've cheated. You know them songs. It's them songs that make people you know, feel for you. Yeah. But nobody know what y'all motherfucking ass doing. That's why I said it's always three sides to a story. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You got yours. You got mine, yours, I can't yours talk. like five sides to a story. Yeah, you I'm do. Better no, right. can't talk. yeah it's all good. Okay, so. Once you, want, cause that, that happened, okay, so I'm assuming once it became public, you were fully done with Lily. Mm-hmm. You lying? What? It was a, it was the smirk. You Aquarius, lying? Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. I started Aquarius. feeling bad. Something. Feeling bad for who? How I moved. Hey, just, own up to it. You learn from things. As long now, as you never do it again, that's all that matters. And that's the truth. Like, I started feeling like I was moving, a, like now I'm opening up and I'm being romantic to Avery. It made me feel guilty. Because that you ain't give it to. Cause I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't introduced to this side of me. And, 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 and I started getting angry a little bit. Like, Lily, why you didn't bring this out of me? You mm. didn't, I started blaming her. Like, and I started getting mad at her, but it, no. I didn't, I, I was, we was, I gotta give the fact that we were young. Mm -hmm. I Ten years a long fucking time. We was young. I was I mean, like 25, we a lot. You know, you live and you learn. I don't want to so. blame nobody. Mm -hmm. We just didn't know. Mm -hmm. But people want to put the blame off on me. I didn't know no better. Mm -hmm. Now I know better. And now I know how to treat a woman. And I know how to love. Let me love in peace. And I feel like I keep meeting people that just want to be in the internet. And Okay. Just... So let's go to that. So what you mean by that? Like Avery wanted to be publicized like like your other relationships or her, her with you or just her in general as a social con uh, content creator because i know she does fashion too yeah she fly. so she fly yeah no she hard too yeah, her hard. but she um like so what do you mean like uh, well no nah, i feel like she has her she, when she came to atlanta she had her own goals mm -hmm. she had her own things that she wanted to achieve and me being already outside in the like social media world i'm like oh yeah we can do that come on let's do that but she felt like I was kind of like hiding her in the beginning, and that wasn't the case. It was like I was protecting you, so she didn't see it as protection. Come but on, Drake. Now I feel like <laughs> people just feel forced to tell their version of a story and their perspective, and that's what makes me so mad because we don't have to talk about we ain't gotta talk about yeah. what we went through. You gonna be great regardless. Do it without talking about me. 
Like, do it without trying to hurt my feelings. Do it without trying to embarrass me. Do it without trying to make me out to be this person. Mm -hmm. Because we all knew you wanna, you're gonna be great regardless. Yeah. So that's what I feel like. I feel like people just be out here just, mm. so the women's porn route, yeah. you don't have to go. So what made y'all like break up? What made us break up? Yeah. Oh. And how long were y'all together? Two and a half years. You and Avery? Yeah. Two and a half years. Damn, we're my relationships don't be short. I'm trying to tell That's you, I just learned about it. Once I eat it, we, no. we we together forever. Damn, two and a half years. Yeah. Facts, yes, we were together for two and a half years. Um, we broke up because I felt like you know. She has some things she has to learn. I got some things I have to learn. I have blockages from the way I moved in the past. She has blockages from her past. And she's a pretty private person. So I feel like- Is that Capricorn and shit? Yeah, that you don't know so nothing private. about their yeah, life. Yeah, that's true. But I know you got something that you got healed from. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So go heal from that so you can be better so for me. And, and two and a half years. I felt years. like she, we broke up I because of our differences. Years. Okay. It wasn't no infidelity. It wasn't no, I wanted to go lick on somebody else's booty hole. It was, That's it was just hole. simply. <laughs> Damn, you were freaking We yeah. just really just had some, we had some things that yeah. we, we had differences. And you know how you well, say like. It was no cheating. Yeah. No. But you know how you say like, you, why do you have to run to the internet? And I understand that. But the crazy thing is like, as I like was preparing for this interview, cause we saw like this outside motherfuckers that we just know y'all from being at the party. But when I like was preparing for this, I'm like, yo, people are so invested in y'all relationships <laughs> where they're recording y'all lives. You might say, I'm hungry today, ain't nobody cook for me. And somebody might be like, see, they broken up because they ain't got a bitch to cook for them. <laughs> Avery ain't feed like, Graham, so Graham's cheated. Yeah, hey, so but that might be why, I mean, just anybody might run to the internet to hurry up and say their perspective because the internet be eating y'all up a little. Nah, baby, but we lay together. Yeah. yeah. We lay together every night. You ain't got to do all that. Yeah. yeah. We, 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 we can remain who we are let them have that version of us mm -hmm. yeah it's hard it's hard it, it is, is especially but this I'm time not, in it's, wrong, age, like, it's wrong but it's, it's hard it's wrong but it, it is hard because like especially with us being influencers promoters us being people who are always on the internet like i've always kind of been pressured like you ain't gonna post me today you ain't gonna like no, bitch. no. i'm just trying to post this flyer real quick i'm like you said i'm with you they know what it is like why do i have to publicize it i feel like that shouldn't be something that you have to force your partner For into sure. doing mm -hmm. if my if if i wasn't single if any girl at this point asked me to post her no. I'll be like, yo, you ain't, you ain't the one for me, bro. Why let me you do it on my own terms. Exactly. Let me do it on my own terms. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But the internet shit, we talked about yeah. that. Like, the internet be ruining relationships so you think that I, have a lot of potential. Absolutely. Because yeah. I feel like the reason why me and my ex, Lily, my ex fiance, why we beef so hard was because of the perspectives and because of everybody hopping in the DMs and making things out to be what they ain't, they ain't what it ain't. Yeah. And, um, she she probably felt pressured to respond to certain stuff, but yeah. you gotta remember who we were. We was just the same niggas that was splitting ten dollars to put gas in the car and get a cheeseburger. Like we, you gotta remember those things. It, People create memories. Social media shit. Yes, like, like nah. And that's my problem. Like I feel like everybody wanna they forget that that one on one yeah. because they so focused on the internet. And they be I feel like they be trying to beat me to it. I ain't gonna talk about it. <laughs> I only talk about things because people already done went and talked about it. Yeah. Like Grams, you're broke. Oh, really? Why Who told you, you that? Somebody that's mad at me? Yeah. Why do they think I'm broke? Is that a rumor going around? Yeah, like that's the, f <laughs> they want, <laughs> females be wanting. I'm her. broke, y'all, by the way, I'm <laughs> broke. I left you, I'm like, that's Show me baby. a rich one, yeah, though. Okay. Put me in a mix with a rich no, one. Yeah, but yeah. Also, I'm broke when I can't, when I'm not overextending myself no more. When I set my own boundaries. Right. When I tell you that, no, we not going to the club tonight. Mm -hmm. That means I'm broke. Oh, that means, oh, because we I want to prioritize my needs. I'm right. broke then. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody go and give their own perspective and people run with the one that sounds the most negative. Cause they don't want to think from a perspective of, oh no, she grown. She's grown. She don't want to be in the club every night. Right. She don't want to spend money on drinks, but she could pay her bills. Well, like, hold up, hold up, hold up. By the way, here. be in the club with us. Party with <laughs> no, every different. night. It's different Atlanta with y'all. It's different every with y'all. So we're going to block that. We're going to be. Girl, you ain't going to block our motherfucking blessings. Nah, no. I'm going to be in there with y'all because my priorities together. <laughs> nah, I'm no. be in there with y'all. Nah, <laughs> no, but it's crazy because if people are saying that, right, and if you don't publicly say, I'm not Post your bank out. account and do all this. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. We're, we don't do that. They, we don't do that. They we don't they have run to. with a whole narrative. That's really easy to do. You but, know what I'm saying? like, I think, I do think we're in, um, like, an age where um, we are, social media is one thing, but then we also grown enough to be like, bitch, I ain't, I, ain't I live real life. Like, yeah, I got right, real right, life yeah. stuff going on. Yeah. But, so, so show me a rich nigga. We'll run with that and, and go be with him. Yeah. Go be with that rich nigga that's gonna take care of you, baby. Because okay. I'm gonna get out your way because I'm a broke nigga. Let my broke ass get out your way. Okay. Go be with the bitch nigga that you waiting for. I don't wanna that's, be that's no, the mode no I'm on. Because I don't get, I don't, I don't get intimidated by stuff like that. But yeah. the internet wants me to feel like that. They trying to bring you down. Don't yeah. let them do it. So I do got a question. Okay. Um, how many times uh, can you? How do I say this? Yeah. What how many times is it okay to go back to somebody? Spin that block. Spin block. Screw! 
many times? Tires it, man. Them tires ball, man. Come on now. Oh, how many times? How many times is it okay to archive pictures? Mm. Oh, not the, let me. <laughs> and, then, and then put them back. Because mm. <laughs> I did that a lot. It, it takes two to spin the block too, as well. Um, I mean, we can archive as much as we can, baby. Because okay. I'm not going to be out here representing you and you make me look crazy. So I'm going to act like, I, when people come looking for me because you over there talking shit about me, they be like, hold on, Raz don't even know her. Yeah. Like, that's yeah. what I be on. However, um, spinning the block. Uh, Let's set a limit, y'all. Let's set a limit. How many um, times can we spin the block? Before I say one and done. One and I got to see if you still the same person I left. And if you exactly the where I left you, we ain't got shit in common. Because when you move on from a person, you're supposed to elevate. And if you can go back to somebody and they ain't where you at now, and they where you left them, y'all don't need to deal. How many times did Lily, would you say Lily probably spent the block? With her? Yeah. How about what? I don't know. I know a uh, good two times, I think. Uh, two, three times? Yeah. Because now you're doing this backtracking and you're starting patterns and you're repeating cycles. Yeah. Nah, baby, I wanna, no, we finna start something new. If we get back together, you gonna have to talk different. You got to move different mm -hmm. and you ain't finna look like some woman scorned. Nah, you gonna own up to the fact that niggas tried to make you happy and just couldn't make you happy. Stop on, stop making it look like like people did you so dirty. You gonna own up to the part you played in your relationships. So if I go back to you and you still that sad ass bitch, we done. I don't want you. Mm. Ooh, that yeah, sounds like something. I'm sad ass bitch got me sad. Sad but, uh, ass bitch. I'm over sad, sad bitches. <laughs> no, but you know what? It's very hard to go back to a relationship that went through so much trauma. Yes. And that's also yeah, like I, I was think, gonna say it depends on why y'all ended. I don't yeah, want to feel yeah. those triggers again. I left you because of the triggers, and if I come back and still being triggered, that means I'm So you saying smoke. this for both of your recent exes, there is no spinning of the block? Because huh? I've seen on YouTube, I've seen <laughs> something now like... You, you, that's what I'm trying to figure out. We ask you how many you said one and done, so if, you're saying... If they want a hump... No, I'm just playing. See, you was just a little, little kink, little Aquarius, little... Hey, thing. wait, because, hey... So you been kicking it with Lily recently? Hmm? You been back in chat? I'm in chat. <laughs> now, you're in Atlanta right now, but we know you... You in the clouds right now. You with us. That's my dog. Yeah. That's my dog. But I ain't spending. <laughs> I don't have nothing to spend. I'm broke. <laughs> okay, what? Well, so she said that's her dog. So meaning they probably what made up behind the scene. Oh, they probably talk, chopped it up or something. That's what it's coming off like. So I don't know. Comment below your thoughts if you even made it this far. Hey, if you made it this far in the uh, video, comment below rainbow emojis. No, do what? What would you gonna say? Something? Nothing petty. Some petty. <laughs> it's like, it's like, even though I, it's like, I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of Grams and the way she moved in the beginning. I can still listen to this and like hear certain things out. I still believe that she was manipulative in the entire situation. Yeah. But it's like, for whatever reason, listening to them being able to question her, it's just things out are just a bit more, I don't know. Yeah, it's clear. almost like they said, sit your ass down yeah, and answer like, these questions. Yeah, because she wiggled so much. They <laughs> just had to, like, sit her down and, like, well, hold up. I'm just trying to clear this out. This April, this March. You know, just shit like that. Yeah. But look at what they had to do just to get the little bit that we got out. And it still sound off. Yeah. <laughs> and I wonder if this is going to trigger uh, Lily in any way and if she's going to... Lily, she just, she's been like posting videos, uh, which I don't watch her videos, but um, she posts video and put like a title that's almost like playing off of what's going on on the internet. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So she'll probably, I don't know, she might do something like that. Okay. Nice one. <laughs> no, but I can say I'm broke. Though, I would say, that's for me personally, own. 10 years is worth talking it out an investigation of knowing but why put it out there why don't put it out there though nobody should know that no I, don't we, put it out until there until we know what we got yeah until don't we, we yes. are we got through all until we, we can stand on some yeah. shit but i thought like therapy did. yeah say it again for the camera yeah you already know you, <laughs> you said you said it three years ago <laughs> but you're saying it now <laughs> so look she, uh, she's saying that she think her and lily should go to therapy together that's what it sounds like they insinuating because they was together so long it's worth spending the block it's not worth going to therapy together unless y'all trying to get back together yeah that's what they saying what but, but b <laughs> what about b lily already see she did all that now her woman already in love with somebody else uh with another woman yeah that you can't say they ain't in love they gotta be in love by now you know let how lesbians move and i think they over there stinging each other <laughs> 
Because <laughs> they be following each other, they're unfollowing each other. And then you be like, what's going on? And then Grams popped up back to Chattanooga. She, she, Grams may be working on a little something, something to get her woman back. Huh? If you think about it, let let uh, Lily and B have a moment. A, a real, real moment. You think Lily go back and spin a block again? She already did about two, three times. Why not? What's the uh for? I don't know, child. I'm going to have to just sit here and watch. Honey, and watch that Discord. They be, boy, they be popping in the Discord, huh? So if we gonna be friends, we need therapy, right? I mean, so, Lily, you heard that, right? Oh, okay. Well, I see both. I don't need no therapy. Oh, did she to be just your friend. say? Did yeah, she, she just... said Lily heard that, right? She trying to get Lily to go to therapy. No, Man, and no, she sending no. no smoke Grams is trying to wiggle her way back in. You yeah. cannot tell me she ain't trying to wiggle she her way back. She acting like in. a little sperm when it's trying to fertilize yeah. her egg, baby. Yeah, she trying to wiggle. She said she friend and center with this jacket Lily, on. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I'm sorry, y'all. I just had to say something about this jacket. This jacket is giving me Cisco vibes. Oh my but god! I, <laughs> I was gonna say, put a jacket in the comment. Uh-huh. Because then you also have someone where like y'all just ended because of differences it's that could also good. be. be yeah, mounted. but it ain't in. So nice. is, 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 are we choosing time and no, history? Not- are we choosing history over potential? I don't do history because you could spend a hundred years with a person that don't know you and meet somebody that knows everything about you in less than a month or two and I feel like that was the situation like I left my situation because I was unappreciated and I wasn't feeling seen and then when she went to the internet to talk about me you proved everything I felt during the relationship when you made me feel invisible because you made it seem like you like I wasn't nothing like Mm. yeah but is that your own feelings about it like I guess I'm just thinking about how Graham's already just mentioned in this interview that she loved when people used to stroke her ego that's why she started dressing fly they used to be like oh grams you cute oh grams my boyfriend and the thing is it's like all of that shit is fine and dandy but we all know like when you get in a relationship real life shit happening even us just sitting back watching lily with her mama her mama car her daddy her daddy needing stuff it's like Shit ain't going to be cute all the fucking time. It ain't going to always be a moment where it can just be just about you. But what y'all have to do is take time out for y'all relationship to build that shit up. Who was that we seen or heard? And they was just, it was an older couple or something. And they were saying like, these younger people, they don't want to put in the work that you have to for a relationship. Yes. But then even I said that. And y'all, so... Me, even me and Nick, we do things like if y'all follow us over there on our blog channel, we went out and we actually had a good time. And um, we was <laughs> this was when we was in Vegas. Oh, okay. and when we had went out to eat, and then I pulled up the little relationship oh, question. So it was like abundant. Yeah, it's like you have to do those things for your relationship. You just can't be. I can't just be expecting Nick to make me feel good. Yeah, and the, the, and because if it's if she's trying to make me feel good, what am I doing to make myself feel good? Even when she ain't making me feel yeah, good. Yeah, it made me feel. That's good. the time that you're supposed yeah. to be really like centering yourself, doing things for yourself, your self care, so that whatever's going on, you ain't depending on this person to make you feel like you somebody. Yeah. And because then, that's on you and it could have been like she was dealing with stuff maybe with her brand or some shit like that but it's like you can't put that shit on somebody else's plate you just can't yeah, do that yeah what i liked when carla did that it's like the questions that she asked it opened up a needed conversation that we just needed to have and imagine yeah. if she would have never did that it's like yeah. that's what i'm saying just because you're in a relationship we've been together now it'll be nine years this year um, and it's like we still have to do things to like put in like work and bond. You always, and, but that's you know, what I said. You gotta do shit like that. It's you like know? you always have to work on your relationship. And like I said, we're forever changing. Yeah. So if you're not working on this relationship, say for instance, this relationship we started nine years ago, we're not putting energy into that, but we're changing each and every day. Yep. That's what the problem is. You can't just worry about yourself. You got to be worried about the relationship. Mm-hmm. And everybody make it seem like, oh, Grams, you went to the internet first and you was talking crazy. No, I hear what everybody else ain't hearing. So when she, my ex started dropping videos, oh, I'm seeing how you didn't see me. And I'm seeing how you spinning this. And I still feel invisible. You don't 
nah. Then why, you ain't why, speaking on what I went through. You ain't yeah. speaking on them tears I shed. You ain't speaking on the fact that I fought through custody battles between you and your baby daddy. You ain't speaking on none of that. You want to make it look like, oh, I was just some leech and I took care of you and I was the one who got us the apartment and before the YouTube. What I was doing, you ain't speaking on before the YouTube. You speaking on when you convinced me to be an entrepreneur and that's why I respect her. Because mm. she introduced me to this entrepreneur. So, baby, take off that one D shirt. Yo, <laughs> come on, man. Come on. Get that pride out, baby. Come on. <laughs> speak on, speak on. Speak on we can never be serious. Uh, the, the, oh the, the, the shit that really like I stood on yeah. and I supported you and I stood behind you on. Speak on that because that's the stuff that 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 makes me yeah. want to fuck with a person a long way. When you had my back when nobody else had it, and I'm over here holding on to that while you making it look like I was just nothing or yeah. I had some abandonment issues with my family and speaking on my family. That's really what made me mad for real mm. because you can't you don't have the authority to speak on what me and my family issues are mm. from your perspective if you haven't walked in my shoes. So when I started flipping out and being mad on the internet and really being vindictive and evil is because you knew what you was doing that we knew what we was doing. Everybody else going to look at it like we bickering and we being petty and yeah. bitter, but you knew what you was doing. And you and and that's oh I still love them. So if that's what it is, why why therapy? Why not therapy? Why not leave it where it's at? Pull me up. Why not leave it where it's at? We wasting our liquor now. Let bygones be bygones. Because and move on. You still my best friend. Is she though? You was still. Nah, it's cause you trying to wiggle your way back in. Let's just keep it a book. You trying to wiggle your way back in. Yeah. My best friend. Was my best I don't know if she got my no, back now. I, mean, they I don't know if she got my well, back. We don't have to get Lily up here. Like, get her up here. Come on. So, <laughs> come on. Get her up here. Damn. All right. Lily, we need you up here so we can hear your side of story. And Avery, we need both of She knows yeah. what's up. We need both of them. All right, tell her to come up here. Like, come I on. know when, when like, I sat down with you, I only really got to sit down and talk. You asked me a million like, questions in the club. Yeah, like, I'm a bitch. like, so did you cheat? No, I ain't say that. No, because, like, I really got introduced, I just really got introduced to you. And then you was telling me that, like, because then, like we in the YouTube world now, so I was kind of just like, asking you because I know you like you do YouTube. So I'm like, how come you're not doing it as consistent as you used to? And you were saying like you didn't want your relationship to be public like that again because then people fall in love. Mm -hmm. Like even even people fell in love with, with you and Lily guys. So even if you had a solid relationship right here, people automatically put in the past shit on yeah, the new person. Yeah. So like, what are you doing to move forward? Um, my advice would be to like just clear everything up and go into something fresh without any baggage. You still celibate? She not celibate. Look she at said, her face. She said she was practicing celibacy. I am practicing celibacy. <laughs> you couldn't even say it. Uh, She's just scratching your ear. Celery. I'm practicing celery. I ain't see y'all already fucking somebody else. Unless she's still fucking uh, Avery, but she said she don't spend the block. Damn, she already fucking a new girl. That's how lesbians be falling in love. That's why you do need to let yourself clear out. You don't need to be running to another girl fucking her. Because then you're going to fall in love with her. And then y'all going to have to move in with each other. There's going to be another two and a half years. Because like you said, a relationship ain't short. Nah. She such a crazy woman. So, like, what would you do with your new, like, what are you doing? Or what would you do with a new relationship? Are you are you going Protect to put it on the internet? Like, I'm a, I am want to manifest somebody who don't care about the internet. Who ain't going to. Y'all, can y'all stop manifesting people? Please. Because a lot of times when y'all talking about manifesting, y'all manifesting an ideal, an idea of a person. Like, who you think, how you perceive this person to be. And then you get them, and they ain't that. I think what people need to do is worry about themselves. Yeah, because we all worry have about real. worry about growing and being your better version. Because when you ain't looking for whatever, it'll come to you. But it's like you got to get to a certain. You got to be vibrating a certain way. If not, you are gonna keep running into the same type of stuff. Yes. So. Every time when she was lighting candles and shit, doing all that voodoo shit, trying to take advantage of Graham's free will. When that may not be the trajectory or the the path of her life where she's supposed to be going. Clearly. <laughs> Stop fucking with people free will. Be influenced by people DMing them, but like Graham said this and Graham did that. I want somebody that's like not pressed about that and and they worried about they own, they got their own motion that that don't involve yeah. the internet. You can't you can't go into it with no gray areas though neither. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. That's why I'm working on me because yeah. I want I want to put myself in the receiving position to. Like just receive love and true genuineness and not people thinking about themselves and 
and, and pride put to the side, ego yeah. to the side, because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, uh, after everything we said, yeah. this is about people's pride and egos being bruised. People going to the internet and feeling some type of way because of what's being said and how people are perceiving them. But me personally, I don't care what people think about me. You could think I'm broke. You could think I don't have nothing, but I know who I am off the internet. So yeah. I don't have to do things based off of what people think of me. So I'm not gonna go and out you because you outed me. Like, pe I'm sitting on secrets and people done told my business and yeah. people done, I'm still sitting on stuff that would really damage a person whole pride and I'm sitting on a lot of you bitches secrets too. You bitches, I'm sitting just know, on Y'all secrets. secrets are safe with me, it's safe with me, Alicia Keys, yeah. she has words too. Gang, gang, yeah, yeah. We ain't gotta do all that, we ain't gotta do all that. You know what I'm saying? Cause it ain't gonna do nothing but just make shit worse. Cause one thing I learned about the internet is sometimes we try to clear shit up, People not, they're gonna perceive it how they want how to. They so even to. if you meant to mean it one way, somebody can still take it a whole different, different way. It's like, bro, I didn't even mean it and that you way. Now you keep making videos, you just keep digging a hole. Yo, you, you can never clear about it, it You can never clear it up, bro. Yeah. And somebody more invested in what you got going on, they can't be doing too great, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Exactly, because if you was you happy at home, if you was getting dick down at home, you wouldn't be worried about what Graham's got going on. There's bitches that's making 10 hour videos talking about me on YouTube. That's if you was crazy. getting the right amount of dick, bitch, you would not be worried about me. What you want, what you gotta say about that? Because I guess like on one aspect, the bigger picture is like, motherfuckers is talking about you, which might it. be a good thing. I love it. Yeah, all, all, all bad publicity ain't bad publicity. Yeah. So talk. Take what I say, like that's why I'm being open here. Yeah. Cause they gonna take what I say and flip that shit. And yeah, make they do it to us all the time. Exactly. Yeah. So go have fun with it. As long mm -hmm. as I got it off my chest and I ain't sitting over here sitting on some shit that I knew I should have said. Yeah. yeah. Nope. I'm not holding nobody's motherfucking secrets no more. Okay. okay. Nope. All right. Yeah. Now you see how we just watched this video. We heard what she said. We didn't flip nothing. The little piece of truth that we felt like we got out, we respected it. And when we did, when we done with this video, we gonna move the fuck on with our life. Yeah, that's all she had to do in the motherfucking beginning. beginning. Wait, two that's and a it. half years ago, and she almost. still don't get it. Yeah. Well, that's that on that. That's that on that. <laughs> Grams is uh, celibate ish. Mm -mm. And uh, she stop is. Sp uh, <laughs> stop spinning that back. <laughs> you keep trying to spin that back. Celibate ish. <laughs> Nah, I ain't gonna let you go. I hope you about what they post, so I saw you post that, so I was just checking in and see I'm how- I'm working on it. How, okay, cool. I'm working on it. Hold on, first of all, you can't work on some of the seat. You think you, <laughs> I guess you can. I got plans tonight. I guess your intention. I got plans tonight. Oh, shit. Oh, 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 shit. And we ain't cutting it out, so we're gonna actually start that. No, wait, no, no, please. Oh, my God. Nah, but um, we appreciate you coming up here and speaking on things that are very vulnerable and mm -hmm. trusting us with um, just having this open dialogue, because we're not no messy people, you know what I'm saying? We like to just come to people and get them the opportunity to speak for themselves, because we don't do, like, reaction videos. And, and everybody videos. been reacting. Yeah. to you we but don't, like really i can't that. say you know i'd rather sit down fight. yeah i've seen a lot of that but i'd rather and that's no shade to nobody but yeah. from how we are how we move we'd rather sit down with a person directly and say hey what the fuck going on that's why i had to say yo i seen that's this true. i seen that let's clear it up right here today and because y'all have before. access to me because i'm not hard to get to hello oh okay mm. Hey girl, because that's a, that's how easy I think people we wonder, could do. Like, like yeah. you'll be moving around the world. I don't know where the fuck you at. Right, honestly. but people could really like hit me up. Like, girl, is this true? Right, and they don't, and they just want to run with whatever. You create whatever somebody narrative. said about me and yeah. being their feelings, and I'm just over it. I'm oh, over it. Grams. Yes. So, they, are y'all DMs open or close? This is a trick question, twin. It you both to say close. We just said we are focusing hey, on ourselves. I'm focusing on myself. <laughs> But no, baby, nice. Yes, out of the whole no, conversation, it's, not, it's, it's close for real. Cause I, ain't, I don't care about nobody. Like I like having a girl around, so me. I would probably say if I was y'all, humans say, well, irritate my soul. Oh, yeah. Humans irritate yourself. Humans irritate my soul because yeah. people ain't open as we are. Like we were open as yeah. shit in this conversation. Yeah, yeah. People, people ain't like never, that. Like yeah. and, and even if they are, they go take it and go flip it and make it what they want it to be, and it's just irritating the shit. Yeah. And then be making you regret having conversations with people because they're like, damn, I just sat there and opened up to you, you still took it the way you wanted to, based off your perspective. And now I just gotta accept the fact that people just. They ain't up there. Yeah. They ain't up there with these conversations. Yeah. And they ain't exactly. open to it because they so busy trying to convince you that what you feel is wrong. And really, sometimes it don't be no right and wrong in situations. You can agree to disagree with people. Exactly. And, and we all been through our shit. We yeah. all been through our shit. Yeah. Like, what the Let fuck? We got real life yeah. shit Let going me be wrong. on. But what yeah. I would say, like, really, the best feeling. And sometimes we think, like, when you hit. Dirty that you can't get with somebody that ain't bringing baggage with them. We we sometimes think that, but I do think the best feeling is to go into a relationship with you not holding on to nothing, not holding, on, even cutting ties with bitches that you did love, bitches that used to be your best friend. But you have to understand that sometimes you gotta cut ties to move forward and elevate. Right. You know what I'm saying? And right. not saying like I don't know nothing about you and Lily's relationship. But I'm just saying in general, like or she's my bestie. Yeah, she's my bestie. So so do you think her being your bestie? What? Right, you been all right? We about. She, Why do you think she keeps saying she's my bestie? I don't know. 
I mean, maybe she's speaking on what they used to have, and she probably would want that back. But uh, she said, Lily, she said, uh, "You her bestie, honey." Do you think about this? You think this is what Lily was talking about when she said that um, she had uh, it was so much going on behind the scene, and she said, "I would tell y'all, but I just can't." Cause she probably knew. Maybe so. You think it has something to do with But then brand? my thing is, is if she talking to B, you think B gonna be okay with them being besties? Nah. Like, nah. if they, even if they like, just still on a, you know, we fuck buddies, like, would she be okay with that? Nah. I don't think so. I mean, I wouldn't be okay with it if I was fucking somebody and you trying to be best friends. That's the same way how I had to tell my ex when me and you was talking and she was trying to like do lunch that time, remember? And I was like, I'm not about to do that. Yeah, she's drinking a beer, Coke 45. We about, we, about to, get we about to end, but do you think you can still have her as your bestie and be with somebody else? Like that's- No, nah, no, nah, ain't nobody gonna respect that. And I'm yeah. pretty sure her, none of her boobs will respect that. Yeah, like exactly. So y'all just hold about it on. to try to be her bestie? Yeah. I don't think they respect that unless she want to put respect on it. And she would have to come to the internet and really like, yes, yeah, she would have to talk. She getting hot. Yeah. yeah getting hot. <laughs> <laughs> she would have to come to the internet and talk her. She would have to really admit to what she don't want to admit to. Mm. Mm. She not. But. Lily, we see you next. Lily, you up next. I'm, I'm already setting that up. All right, we appreciate it. Yeah, thanks, girls. Appreciate you. Make sure y'all like. Honey. <laughs> ah, ah, they done talked to her ah, about that drag. Yeah. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> so what did you think about the video? Uh, you know, I can appreciate them. I love the way that they did the interview. Yeah. And got her to really answer the question. Yeah. And then actually some because of the who things. who really has patience for that? I mean, you just got to really know your shit or have patience for that shit. Yeah. And even some of the things that Graham spoke on, even, you know, I was able to be like, oh, yeah, I do remember Lily saying this. Yeah, so if Lily uh, was fucking Grams and she knew that Grams was talking to another girl, then, I mean, that, that's on Lily. Yeah, I just think it was just part of their toxic relationship. Mm -hmm. But um, they made a good point to let her know, like, moving forward, you should just be done with everything. And we know that. It's like, after you go through bullshit in life, you realize that. But it's all part of the growing pain. Now, I will say this. Uh, as a reaction channel, um, like how they were saying that, you know, it's easy access to reach out the grounds and ask the question. Yeah, but they're friends. They cool with no, grounds. No, but what I'm saying we is, cool with this is a reaction channel. This is not an interview channel. Yeah. If I wanted to sit down and do the fluffy buffy talk in the circles, trying to figure out where the fuck Graham stood on shit, then I would reach out. I don't fuck with Grams, I don't know Graham, so it's yeah. no point for me to reach out. I'm a reaction channel, so I'ma watch the shit, and I'ma react to what the fuck she put out. Yeah, I, I, I got that there. No too. shade, though. No yeah, shade. I got that, too. Yeah. But I was just like, we're not gonna reach out to her because we're yes. not cool with her. Yes, so I'm a like, reaction channel. I'm not a podcast, sit down with a motherfucker for an hour and talk to him channel. Anyways, <laughs> if y'all enjoyed the reaction, please hit the like button. We hope to catch y'all next time. Peace. You don't really need a lot of more fish. Because you know what it is, you know what it should be like. You never need it, they approve it on me by the You live it in your truth. Only when you feel it, that's why I'm tuning into your vibration.